I think we're building a lot of chemistry right now, actually. With the new guys, we, 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 we learn to uh, uh, get to know each other. We, we learn how to play with each other. So, And there's a lot of rot rotation in the lineup, so you get to play with a bunch of different uh, guys. So it's it's good to, to learn how to play with those guys and uh, to build, build a team spirit. I, I think just my fundamental learning, like, against this type of run, how to like how to step, how to make the proper uh, adjustment, how to do the proper footwork. So I, I think it, after watching a lot of film, uh, I improve uh, a lot uh, on that side. Not yet, but uh, almost. I was back in Montreal during the off season. I did uh, four months of medical school back there, and I have four months left before getting my MD. So how hard is that? I mean, it's a lot of training in football. It's a lot of training in medicine. Yeah. It seems like. You like a lot of training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but I mean, when, when you have like two passions, you don't count the hour and you just work as hard as you need to. And uh, I, I love being in med school. I love being uh, here and play. And the good thing is now when I'm here, I can focus 100% on football and I don't have to care about med school. While uh, when I was back in college, I had to do both at the same time. So I think it's a good thing now that I'm able to focus only on football and I really enjoy it. Are your teammates asking you for diagnosis on the side? <laughs> Maybe more as a joke, but yes, of course, we're talking a bit about it.